What's going on? It's Casual Niz, live from the Niz CS. This is the most prestigious Yu-Gi-Oh! event that we have as of the coronavirus pandemic that we have going on. Uh, we've had three people taking part. Um, here you go, here's their decks, and this is my deck. And what I'm going to do for you today is a little deck profile, because um, I managed to do quite well at this event. I topped it, came in the top two out of the three. So, yeah, let's take a look at the cards that we have here for the Shadol deck that I used to top this event. So first of all, we have El Shadol Ap Capone, or however the hell you pronounce it, something like that. Now, this card was on the um, the box artwork of the structure deck I bought it from, so we don't even need to read this card, really. We just know that means it's good, because it's a brand new card. Next up, we have all the classic Shadols, all the, all the different elements are represented. We have Dark Fire, Light, Earth, Water is tucked somewhere at the back there, and Wind. We've got to have all those ready for the situations. Um, this one, the wind one, is a little bit shit, but um, the main deck monster, um, El Shadol Win Wendy, is actually quite good. So uh, we, want to have th we want that situation ready where a wind fusion is the only thing we can make. So we might as well have Wendigo in there. So next up, we have our second copy of El Shadol Construct and El Shadol Applicone, because sometimes you lose your Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like, sometimes like they get stuck behind the back of the settee or something like that, and um, you can't find them. So it's good to run more than one copy sometimes, just in case, um, just in case like it yeah, ends up lying around your house or something like that. And uh, next up, we have Cup of Soup Fusion. Um, this card, as far as I'm concerned, might as well say pay a thousand life points and special summon one Link Karibo from your extra deck and maybe send one of your opponent's monsters to the graveyard because um, the full combo, which um, I came up with, um, no one's ever done this before, is you get two of these bad boys, but um, you can only do one in one game feasibly, but you have two of your thousand dice restricts, um, so you instant fusion one of these out. You suck up a monster and then you um, get rid of it to summon your Link Karibo. And what's also good about Link Karibo is that it has um, an arrow pointing down, which means that you can summon something else from your extra deck, such as Shadol Construct over here. And th this card sucks. The only reason this is in here is because it has two arrows facing uh, left and right, which means we can slap down two fusion monsters next to this, at least until the rules change. And then this thing I can just rip up and throw in the garbage pretty much at that point. Um... Now this one, uh, Quad Shadol Kios, uh, this is in here because this came in the structure deck. It's a brand new card, There's, um, it's, it's a light which is kind of cool, but because it's a new card I figured it must be good. Like, it must be worth running three copies off because why else would they have made it if it wasn't worth uh, buying three times. And then we have all the classic Shadol main deck monsters here. and um, We got one of each of them um, as our combo pieces which is pretty cool. Um, Hound's missing because Hound kind of sucks, but we have all, all the all the good old dark uh, main deck Shadol monsters there ready for action. Now we have our triple Shadol fusion. Oh yeah, we can fusion our fusion monsters, which is awesome. And if your opponent has their main deck, sh uh, their extra deck shenanigans going on there, you can just mill stuff out of your deck, which is all fun and games. Now, we have our El Shadol Fusion, which is basically crappy Shadol Fusion, but it is a quick play spell, which is nice, and it means um, if you're going second with Shadol Fusion, there's a 40% chance you'll open one, so that's not good enough, so we need to extend that. But that's not, that's not very cricket, is it? So we need to have our Super Poly, just to be even more overkill, we're just going to overkill that Fusion shenanigans. Now, what could be better than that? How about classic Foolish Burial over here? Everything does something in the graveyard nowadays, so we might as well be playing Foolish Burial to get those effects off. Uh, Foolish Burial is limited to one, but I, I managed to find a way around that and play four Foolish Burials. Oh yeah, Mathematician up the ass, motherfuckers. So what this does is it you just summon it and then you get to send something to the deck, which is all good in the hood. Here are our targets for Foolish Burial and mass, blah, 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 Mathematician. The classic Shadols, can, all, the main deck monsters can also do it. But we've got good old Electromagnetic Turtle to end the battle phase. This Earth guy is Earth Fusion material, perhaps. If we can fusion summon from the graveyard, which we can't because I didn't put that card in, but never mind. He, he also does something in the grave, which is nifty. We've got the Water one, which kind of sucks, but it's a water. Uh, we need a water to make one of the fusion monsters. And we have this Light Swarm card, which is good. Because we send that, it special summons itself, it slaps itself down next to Mathematician, and then we can make this, the good old Black Rose Dragon, which just summon, you summon it, and then it blows up everything, it, it just kills everything. 
Next up on the list, we have our triple Lava Golem combo. Now, what's good about Lava Golem is, unlike the Kaijus, which can only get rid of one monster, that's no good. What if you need to get rid of two monsters? That's what you have Lava Golem for. And if you can stall out the game for eight turns, you'll win on burn damage, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah, Pot of Avarice. This card just came off the ban list, so that means we have to play it. There's no reason not to play something that just came off the ban list, right? So we got to have that. Uh, here we go. We got like our trap card. This is a brand new card that came in the structure deck. No reason not to play uh, less than three copies of a, of a new card like that. And then we got Classic Armageddon Knight, another Foolish Burial. Um, and then that takes up to our 40th card. Uh, Lost Wind. Um, I just put this in the deck because it's a good tech card and I couldn't think what else to put in. So there we go. Lost Wind. And then we have our one XYZ monster. Um, Castell, the the twat with a shotgun or whatever he's got. Um, he's the best rank 4 in the game so I thought I'd just put him in. Even though there's not that many level 4s. But there's enough that we might want that situation ready. Like bounce something to the hand. And then last but not least, our side deck, Triple Twin Twisters. Um, this deck is so airtight that we do not need anything more or less than our Triple Twin Twisters. Like, if you can't think what else to put in your side deck, it might as well be Twin Twisters, let's be honest. Um, I could have put Ash Blossom um, in there, but I think that fell uh, behind the back of the city, so I'm going to have to go and look for that. So I might put one, my one Ash Blossom in there. Um, but yeah, so I would like to thank a few people for me topping this, um, the Niz CS. I'd like to thank uh, the Spa for having Toilet Roll in so that we could um, host the, um, the Niz CS. Um, I'd like to thank um, uh, my flatmates for not making me get ill for this tournament, which was all well and good. And I'd like to thank my girlfriend because she's in the next room and she might tell me off if I don't thank her. So <laughs> I'm in trouble. See you later.